Well, so why are you saying he was able to walk around comfortably as if you like as if somebody was supposed to do something to him? Like you some gangster, you not gangster, you are. Let's not forget you are a woman, you are a female. Like I hate when bitches do this, like stop it. Stop what you are a woman. You wasn't going to do anything. And if you did do something and he happened to slap the shit out you, if he happened to beat you the fuck up, you would have played the woman card. He put his hands on a woman. Hate me that much, then I'd rather die. Ask me nobody on this. Some people just tell better lies. Truthfully, I'm the better guy. Got this little light in me, but I feel like I never shine. Pray to God that I never die. Make the dumbest decisions, but I feel like forever wild. Fuck it is, man. It's big L's in this bitch, you heard me. You niggas, mad or dog. Real quick, bro. Real quick, cause we about to get straight to the beans of rice, you feel me? We about to get straight to the beans of rice. So, um, let me put out a quick disclaimer, right? Let me put out a quick disclaimer, cause you niggas real good, you feel me? Niggas be out this bitch Jimmy Mac, but, um, I'm in no wise... Speaking on this nigga behalf, right? And, and, and let me not say it like that, bro, because I don't want to sound like I got an issue with him. You feel me? Or like, I mean, like, I'm I'm in no wise speaking on Chris unbiased, Chris unbiased behalf. You hear me? Like, I'm not his protector. I'm not defending him. I have nothing invested in his situation. He didn't pay me to make this video. I just, if I'm keeping it a bean, I feel like niggas is being disingenuous. You hear me? And I'ma call niggas out. Fuck you geeking for? Like, I feel like niggas is being disingenuous, bro. All of a sudden, now niggas fake outraged. This is fake outrage to me. From my perspective. You hear me? I feel like this is fake outrage. Now, Chris Unbiased isn't allowed to come to... Like, he isn't welcome to RBE events. Was he not at Max Out, bro? You hear me? That nigga was at a few events. King of the Dot, a, 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 a bunch of sm uh, uh, small leagues. Like, y'all wasn't saying nothing. Niggas been knew what he had on his jacket. Nigga, yo, stop it, bro. Now, all of a sudden, niggas want to act like they just heard about these allegations. Like, y'all been new since the minute that man got out of jail. Fuck is you geeking for? Like, stop it. Now, all of a sudden, it's just... Oh, and I'm just so mad and angry and disgusted. And then, because we, we got to talk about caution. You got to stop what you're doing, Miss Lee. Real shit, you got to stop what you're doing. Like, I'm ready to put you on a grill. Like, let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth resides here. All my words got squatter right. So, I'm listening to this space, right? I'm listening to this space. It's caution. There's a few other people. I'm hearing women speak. Men speak, and like she just like, you know, uh, uh, we're we're banning, um, we're banning Chris Unbiased from RBE events, right? That was the first red flag. I'm gonna keep it a bang with you. That to me, that was the first red flag. We, we, do you own RBE? Do you have stocks in the company? Like, are you partnered? Uh, like, are you a partner with um, Adam and him? You, not, it's no we. Fuck is you talking about? Are you the spokesperson for Rad Breed Entertainment? Like, stop what you doing, bro. It's no we. Who the fuck are you? Respectfully, like, who are you? You are a battle rapper, miss, who just got popping. You have no power. The fuck? And now you want to, like, stop what you're doing. The second red flag was she just talking about, yeah, he was just able to just walk around the event, walk around the event comfortably. Like, like, like somebody was supposed to do something to this man. So you telling me it wasn't a single person in that building who wasn't made aware of his charges. Who just was like, oh, that's Chris Unbiased, the, you know. The battle rap blogger, and you know, I watched a few of his videos, and that's my man's man. How many of you motherfuckers shook his hand, smiled in his face? 
complimenting his videos. Like, like this shit is fake outrage. He walked it. He was able to walk around comfortably. You wasn't going to do nothing. Fuck is you geek? Like, niggas be out this bitch Jimmy Maggin, bro. Stop what you're doing. Caution. You wasn't going to do that man would have slapped the shit out of you. Y'all be doing all this woofing on the internet, bro. Like, you, like you had a chance to air out your grievances with him, bro. Like, you, you seen him. You said it. Out your own mouth, bro. You seen him in that building. Now, you, you said you didn't say anything to him. But if you felt that strongly about it, right? Because cause clearly you, you, you was harboring some kind of feelings. You said you seen him, but you didn't speak to him. Like, y'all weren't on that type of time. Like, you wasn't fucking with him because you know, like, what, what women are accusing him of. Well, why wait to, like, like why wait to... To you get on the internet to, to say how you really feel. If you feel that strongly about that man, right? You should have took that opportunity to say something to him, bro. In my opinion. Don't wait to much later, years later, to all of a sudden be fake mad about shit. Like, stop it, bro. And, and, and it's for all of y'all, not just caution, bro. The whole RBE staff, bro, y'all, y'all fake as fuck. She gonna keep it a bang with y'all, y'all fake as fuck, bro. Y'all already knew what was going on. Why now? Why now? Ain't none of you niggas do nothing to him. Y'all probably ain't even look at that man in an ill way. And if you did, he probably didn't know that. Y'all ain't say nothing to that nigga. Y'all ain't threaten him. Y'all ain't swing on him. Y'all ain't shoot him. You ain't brandish a weapon. Like, you, so why are you saying he was able to walk around comfortably as if you, like, as if somebody was supposed to do something to him? Like, you some gangster. You not gangster. You are... Let's not forget you are a woman. You are a female. Like, I hate when bitches do this. Like, stop it. Stop what you are a woman. You wasn't going to do anything. And if you did do something and he happened to slap the shit out you, if he happened to beat you the fuck up, you would have played the woman card. He put his hands on a woman and how oh, dare you hit a female and... I just don't like the fact that she was just like boast, like like boastfully saying like, oh, he was just able to just walk around comfortably and he's banned from all RBE events and he's not allowed here and you know and bip bip bop and who are you? You you're not important. Like somebody who gave her the green light to to act as if she part owner of RBE. You being. Very hypocritical, miss. You should have said something to him when you seen him. All right? And you niggas, man. Let me say this in closing, bro. Niggas, bro, you niggas are weak, bro. You niggas will just agree with women, like, like just to be on that good side. Like, just to be down, like... You niggas are goofy, bro. Like, real. I'm hearing these niggas on this space like, yeah, no man in his right mind would 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 be around him or accept what he did. And was he convicted? Is he a free man? Like, I'm just saying, bro. He been had these allegations. If he was that guilty, he would not be free. And once again, I'm not defending him. I'm like nothing. I'm just I'm just using common sense, bro. Like y'all niggas, y'all be the y'all talk all this shit on spaces, but be the same niggas that will smile in his face when you see him. Be the same niggas that won't say nothing. You won't say nothing when y'all in the same vicinity. Like stop it, bro. Like women will say any fucking thing, bro. Like they got a habit of convicted niggas before they actually get tried, bro. 
They the public defend. They, they, they the public defenders in the court of public opinion. It's always a woman trying to demonize a nigga. I don't give a fuck if, if it's if it's true or not. I don't care if if it's evidence behind it. Like if you got anything substantial to solidify. Like they don't give a fuck if if they will. Their women are biased, bro. They're biased towards other women. They don't care if it's facts. They, like, they don't give a fuck about the facts, bro. They go off the emotion. So, because they heard a woman was sexually assaulted or possibly molested or whatever the case may be, they automatically say the man is guilty. Automatically, because there's a woman involved. And they're thinking about themselves. They're thinking about their daughters. They're thinking about their sisters. Like, but it's facts over feelings. And women don't understand that. And y'all niggas... So I said the whole world is under a vibration of is under the vibration of a woman. You niggas all on this space just agreeing. Like, come on, bro. Keep it a bean with these bitches. Like, call them out. Like, challenge what they saying. Like, don't just agree. Niggas be crazy, man. He walking around comfortably. Ain't none of you niggas gonna do nothing. Cause if y'all was gonna do something, y'all would have did it. I'm just saying, man, it's a peasy world. Niggas better wake up or die in their sleep. You mad or not? Nah.